Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new episode of Minecraft here on our 1.19 Let's Play. If you're wondering how all these buildings got here, it is because this world was in a hardcore series. But after 261 days, uh, I ended up dying to a blaze in the nether after just going in. First attempt, uh, yeah, I died. So um, we set up this world in a regular old survival and we're going to be continuing on today. So for today, guys, we are going to be taking a look at this village and really um, transforming it and making it into something so much more. Currently, we only have a couple of buildings um, that are really looking really awesome, um, but we have a couple of the old buildings. We have some of this stuff here uh, set out that is from the from the original village um, but we have a ton of work to do to make this into a nice little port town because if we come down this way you'll see that this large body of water comes into uh, a little river over here if we make our way over um, you can see it's actually blocked off by this bit of land that I'm standing on this land here but it continues around this larger body of land uh, and down to this river so what I want to do is tear up all this land to make it so this larger body of water flows into it over there and it's the same thing over here back where we just were so you can see here where my sugar cane uh, currently is growing we have this bit of land that blocks off this river access uh, from these, this larger body of water. So I wanna tear this up as well and put in some awesome docks along this edge um, and get a couple boats in the river here and a lot in like in the port itself. Um, and then I really want to start looking at some of these older buildings and thinking about what we what kind of structures would go nicely uh, where they are currently and maybe another building uh, here on this grassy uh, hillside. Um, and really just bring this village to fruition. So first thing I'm gonna do is tear up all this grass and open up these river accesses. So this would be a great time to remind you guys, uh, if you're new to the channel, to subscribe and to like the video. Um, at this time, we just reached over like 500 subscribers, which is crazy. It's like way more than I ever expected. I expected to get like one or two, right? Um, but, it, you know, I'm so grateful for everybody for showing out um, and, of course, showing me love and being super helpful in the comments. I really do appreciate that. Um, at this time, like looking forward in the channel, um, what I would like to do is more live streams. Um, but right now with my like work life balance, it's really difficult to kind of schedule these things um but i am committed to trying and you know bringing that content forward because i do enjoy it so much and I, I hope you guys do as well um but other than that guys you can get to get back to this time lapse and listen to this beautiful music Well, I know I chose to do it this way, but this might be the most boring thing I've ever done in Minecraft before. This is, this is terrible. I'm digging out an entire river right now. This, this is a lot. Like I said, I, I know I, I decided to do it this way, but oh my God, this is just terrible. This is so much dirt. So we made a large mess, but it is looking really good. I'm super happy with how it's coming out. Um, it's gonna it's gonna take a little bit to really get it to look uh, pristine and beautiful. And yeah, as you can see, I'm bobbing along here. It's not very easy to uh, clean up these areas and make them look a little better. So um, it's gonna be a little bit before that happens, um, unfortunately. But we can just go ahead and grab some buckets and start filling in the water so that it's uh, nice and tight along this water line. Uh, this uh, land edge um, and then we can start on our docks all right but now that that is all cleaned up and all the water is in place it's actually looking really really good in my opinion um, but now we have to we have to build out these docks and i'll be honest guys i have no idea what to do i've been over it a few times in my head about how i want to lay out this uh dock area but i really i don't know i i, I think i want to use spruce but i'm not entirely sure do i want to use a uh, you know, stone bricks as pillars, top them off and make it look pretty. I'm just kind of a little bit stumped by these docks, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get started. I'll lay something out and just see where my brain takes me. So this is kind of what I am thinking. Um, it's not the best. It's a, it's pretty boring, pretty plain, I think. Uh, but I'm kind of kind of coming into a little bit of issues um, with these curves. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do. I might just build out 
uh, dirt to this point and then just mix in like uh, coarse dirt, maybe a couple planks throughout. But yeah, I think this is uh, what we're working with. And so I'm going to continue on a little bit. And if, if anything crazy happens, I'll bring you guys back in. All right, so I think this just about does it. I think I'm just going to top off all of these and take a look at it here from the sky cam. So if we back up a little bit and take a look, yeah, I think it works pretty good. Um, I don't want to go too, too large, right? Because you'd have to imagine smaller like fishing vessels and stuff would be using this river and using this river. So you can't really build the docks out into the way of it. Um, but I think it looks fine. I think a little bit more detailing um, throughout will really benefit it. But uh, once we get a couple boats in here, uh, maybe like a fishing shack on part of it um, kind of like as a harbor master I think it's gonna I think it's gonna work out pretty good so yeah I'm gonna finish putting these on and maybe think about doing a little bit of detailing what is going on why is it so loud up here what 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 why are you three zombies I've already cured you guys what are you doing looks like we lost one but the other four didn't what is going on? Well, I don't have enough gold for uh, apples, so it looks like I'm headed mining. All right, let's see if we can get these three guys with, I don't think I'm gonna be able to, with one throw. You think we can do it? Uh, no, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to move this guy. I don't know if this is even going to be close enough. Hold on, let's see. Uh, another one died? I didn't, know it. I didn't notice this one gone. Oh man, I don't even know what we're missing now. I think we got him. I think we got all three. That's so loud, I apologize. But with that taken care of, uh, I, I torch spammed up as much as I could, so hopefully there, that won't happen again. Um, Yep, that's take care of. Back to the docks. All right, so things are looking good, and I have some ideas now flowing. Uh, so let me show you guys. So I put up these uh, dark oak railings just kind of around the outside of it. I need to do something on the inside too, but um, I also brought in the rooted mud with the uh, coarse dirt and just kind of speckled it about with a little bit of sand um, and kind of continued it all the way down uh, to the other end of the docks here. And we also added a third little dock here, just a just kind of smaller one. Um, if we zoom out, I. I I can't remember if this was already in the clip, but we have a smaller dock here in the center and things are looking really good. Um, so I think it's time to add a few little uh, little vessels here um, to start, you know, bringing in trade goods and things of that, that nature for our little port town. All right, guys, let me show you what we're working with here. So this is our first boat. Um, it came out pretty cute. I think it's uh, I think it's a nice little fit here. Um, the little like, rolled up canopy uh, sail. We've got the chain hanging on it to make it look like it's functional. Um, we got like some crafting tables, some mini blocks, a bunch of barrels, um, some beehives that we just made up for it. Um, I used the jungle wood just to give it a little pop of color against everything because um, everything's kind of spruce right now uh, on the docks here. Um, but yeah, I think it came out really cool um, I think it's just like a cute little build uh, but then we have this build out here and this one of course is my favorite it's got the open sail uh, we are moving down the down the, like the river here um, we got some again some just random barrels and some note blocks uh, we got the bell on the front to signal anything that we need to signal um, but then we have like the chains that are activating the sail as well again um, but yeah it came out really cute Whoa. For this one, I really like the use of the red wood versus the brown wood. Um, I think it just it's a, it's a good dark uh, contrasting color. I think it looks really nice. Um, but I like the shape of the sail tier too. Um, just that open looks like the winds catching it, um, moving the boat down the river. Like I said, um, but yeah, I'm really happy with this build. But now it's time to move on to the big build for today, guys. I think I'm gonna put a giant ship in here. Um, right here in the center where this dirt line is. I think this is the length of the boat that we're gonna be building. Um, I've already built it up in a test world. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it looks shocking.
sharp. <laughs> um, so I think we're going to go ahead and build that up. Uh, and then, honestly, this is not what I intended to do for this episode. But as I got building these smaller boats and built out the dock and everything, it just it clicked with me. Um, the inspiration for like a larger boat docked here. So yeah, I'm super happy with this. I think it's going to look really good here in the front of the city. Uh, little port town that we have building up um, behind us. So yeah, I'm going to... I actually have already grabbed up um, a bunch of wood here. I think where this should be everything that we need. Um, actually, we might need a little bit more mangrove wood. I'm not entirely sure, uh, but yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. So uh, let's jump into a quick time lapse and make a little bit of progress, and I'll bring you guys back. All right, so you guys can see here that I've laid out the basic outline for the kind of like the top deck here. Um, but yeah, this is kind of the shape. If we zoom up, you guys can get a better look at it. So it's a little pointed in the front. It's kind of like a looks looks like it's made for speed a little more than like cargo. Um, so what I want to do next is kind of lay this first floor down. Um, we're going to be using stripped dark oak wood um, and a little bit of the mangrove kind of just to break up from the dark oak. Uh, but primarily this ship is going to be using the dark oak, but just little touches of color throughout. Um, so yeah, like I said, I just want to lay this first layer down and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, here it is. You guys can get a good look at uh, kind of the shading and how this is going to come out now that we have the deck on um, and we have this little space up here where we can kind of overlook the ship. I'm loving this design. Uh, like I said, it kind of looks like it's like built for speed a little bit more than like cargo or anything like that. Um, but I really like it. I think it's a, I, I like the dark tones with the red in it, um, kind of the opposite of the little boat out there um, and definitely different from this ship here. Um, and then it kind of matches this uh, uh, apothecary that we did last episode and uh, contrasts against the main town hall so I think it's gonna look really good once it's out front here um, and we're up in that little window right there looking down I'm really excited to get these sails on and kind of get the underneath part done because it's obviously it's a, it doesn't look very good without the bottom on um, so yeah let's uh, let's crack on and continue getting this done all right guys check it out it is complete I think I do want to come through um, and add some decorations throughout the deck here but check it out I'm pretty happy with how it came out um, I added these little trap doors on the side just to give it a little bit more of that red uh, tone just throughout the ship because it was looking a little plain with just the dark oak um, so this breaks it up a little bit but yeah check it out I think it came out really cool um, the sails look like they're rolled up as much as they can you know they're, they're larger uh, canvases so they won't be able to roll as tight as that one over there but it came out really cool um, I like these little flags I went with the blue I might change those but it's a different color um, it you know it breaks up from the dark oak and red um, and just adds another color to the build so uh, I might leave them actually but they do look pretty cool um, but yeah guys check out the docks they look so nice from this angle like we got the we got the one kind of docked we got one sailing off and we also have this one uh, but like I said I do want to add a little bit more detail throughout here I like add kind of like a steering wheel maybe um, if we can use the armor stance for that um, that'd be kind of cool obviously add some crafting benches uh, some mini blocks and you know some barrels and things of that nature so um, that's my next goal is just to add those little bits and I'll see you guys in just a second and just like that everybody um it is complete here on the deck of the ship so let me show you guys around we got a little safety bell on the back to warn our crew we have our wheel here it actually think it came out pretty good um we kind of think of it like kind of churning like a crank um I think it works pretty well to, for me uh, but we have a little bit of storage some crafting tools and things like that in case anything needs to get repaired we have extra lumber um, some crates and whatnot uh, we have I put all these candles out mostly just for lighting purposes um, but it's kind of cool I think um, if we maybe we put a couple books over here so it kind of just seems like somebody's reading at the uh, front of the ship but um, other than that we added some salmon and like some other fish down below uh, put the water back in 
in uh, when we have this cool little cartography table here we got our buried treasure map um, so yeah it's it's pretty much done I'm, I'm pretty pretty happy with this if you'd like to name this ship, let me know in the comments below, and perhaps I'll, if I get a good suggestion, I'll put the name on a, uh, a sign on the back of this ship. But that's not where we want to end today's episode, guys. No, we still have a little bit more work left to do here in the village. Um, mainly, we got to tear out this building, and I want to lay out what we're going to be doing for the remaining building so i think we're gonna put a couple buildings in here gonna tear this guy out we're gonna put a building in here and on the other side of the town hall i actually want to do a couple projects as well but we'll get to that in just a few minutes so i'm starting by removing the original building here where i think like a good harbor house will go um we do it like a kind of a general store after that i grabbed all my wool and started to lay out squares in the areas where i thought uh, additional buildings would go and kind of just get a general idea of how we're gonna go about that after that i grabbed my orange wool and lay out a roadway that I think would be really cool all right guys so this is what I am thinking for the remainder of the town and these buildings that uh, we have to build so I'm thinking a bakery here will be really cute if we kind of go a little bit smaller with the build and kind of stretch it upward um, put a nice big chimney on the back side so we have that uh, you know the smoke particles above there will be really nice and then kind of just like a shopping window here um i think that'll be really cute and if we tie the bricks in back over here um it'll look really good with the bathhouse um so yeah let's do that there um and then down here i'm thinking we'll do like an inn um kind of tutored style i'm hoping that i'm pronouncing that correctly i'm probably not but um but i think that'd be really cool if we put an inn here um just for like any travelers that are offloading and need a place to stay that'll be a really cool spot for them and then of course down here on the docks as i mentioned during the time lapse we'll do like a harbor house but we'll mix in like maybe a general goods store and like a trading post kind of in it um i think we can make it kind of look a little rustic here it, like it's kind of been uh almost shoddily made against everything else um, but yeah I think that'd be really neat um, and then of course down over here where I extended the roadway if we make our way all the way down underneath this little uh, cliff's edge I really like this natural cliff's edge so I'm thinking we could do like a water wheel here and make it into our sugarcane farm because we don't have a sugarcane farm yet um, and so we could get that going I think that'll be a really cool um, little spot for something here and I'm not entirely sure the style that we'll do um, but I think that'll come out really cool so I think that's going to do it for me today, guys. Um, I know it's a little bit of a shorter episode, but all in all, I'm super happy with the builds that we've done with the docks here out front and the boats, especially this big boat that we built up. Um, it all came out really well, and I think the future plans for our village here are um, pretty nice. I think it's going to really fill out this town, and like I said, on the time lapse, as we kind of stretch around this side, um, we have so much more space to build over there. We've really just just started really just starting to scratch the the surface of what we can do here so yeah i'm super excited about the plans ahead and i'm really impressed with myself um you know not having a really good plan on what i wanted to do uh with the docks and everything so all in all, like I said, guys, I'm really happy with how everything came out. Really proud of myself for just like sticking to it and not having a good idea, but just letting the creativity flow. Um, and it, I think it came out all really well. So again, guys, thank you for joining and I'll see you guys in the next episode.